what you've done for me. Thank you, Lord. For hey, everyone. Matt here, Home Farm Ideas. And today I'm just going to do an update for you guys. Yes, the water is discolored, but it's because I added chelated iron and I also added some um, kelp meal powder concentrate. So, uh, something new I did add to the filtration system. I added a swirl filter. And I'll take you to that in a minute, but basically, it swirls the water around, all the solids drop to the bottom of the barrel, and then I get it out from that tap. So, this is the sump tank. And that is where the pump is. And the pump runs up to this T here. And then it goes down into my grow beds. And then it goes up and into this one here. Okay. So if you come this way, there's another tap that goes underground. And that is going to feed my Ranchu slash Aranda ponds back there. And uh, I grow floating lettuce and cabbages and stuff here. And then, um, you know, my shallots aren't doing good. I transplanted them um, when I should not have. It was in the middle of the day. I should have known better, honestly. Um, but if you look right here, see the new growth is coming in. So I'm just going to leave it alone. A lot of little new growth coming in. So I'll just wait for that. These are shallots that I transferred a while ago. And they are going gangbusters. <laughs> so tomato or strawberries. <laughs> uh, my peppers are doing good my um, bell peppers and my jalapenos aren't doing too good um, but I trimmed a lot of a lot of the uh, dead leaves and stuff off I'm, I'm actually gonna be removing these I do have some celery started here okay a little celery plant started here hard to see because they're just coming up I have three different kinds of carrots here okay these are like dragon carrots or something like that <clears throat> Believe it or not, um, my succulents, I just put these in, but um, I had some succulents that were looking really trashy, and I put them in the other day, and they just plumped up, and they look great, and these, this one's been in for a little while. I put it in there when it was like super tiny, and it's growing great in aquaponics. I, I was shocked, actually, that that would even grow in aquaponics, because I thought it would be too much water, but... Um, it's doing great so see that nice bell pepper over there so and then I planted out some leeks I actually have a leak in my system <laughs> so got some leeks planted I did plan on pulling these out but then they went they started growing again you know um, cilantro of course cilantro grows so good in aquaponics I'm shocked actually uh, I, you know the coolest thing is too is you just sprinkle the seeds in here you tap the soil or the, uh, the clay balls and it just goes down and goes crazy. So, <clears throat> so yeah, and then I got my shallots, or not my shallots, my uh, chives. Chives are just coming up, so. Um, but yeah, these are my little grow beds that I have so far. And then these, I'm gonna be breeding Ranchu uh, goldfish and Arandas in these. Um, but I'm thinking I might have a grow bed uh, fish farm. Grow bed over here another fish farm here because I want more grow area too so um, so I might just do you know two of each over here and two fish breeding ponds and then uh, two grow beds so so but yeah I ran all the plumbing and everything see it comes up to there I just need to run the drains for these to go back to the sump so anyway just a little update for you guys on my aquaponic system if you guys have any questions please post them below um, I'd like to talk about this stuff, um, especially aquaponics, because uh, I don't know, it's just a fun way to garden, really it is. And honestly, I've had strawberries from this system, and it's like the best flavor strawberries I've ever had. It's organic too, so um, I, and it's organic because the things that I'm adding to it is I'm just adding fish feed. And the fish feed that I get is organic. And I'm, I'm gonna do a video on the fish feed that I got too as well, but uh, yeah. It's growing really good. I can't wait to eat these. I've never had homegrown shallots before. So we'll see how that goes. And I'll keep you guys updated. So anyway, like always, God bless you guys. Questions, comments, everything below. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to talking to you guys about this stuff. So you can check out some of these videos too. Um, got my, you know, little videos here and got uh, uh, our network where you can see all of the channels that we have. and course the subscribe button to this channel so 
Anyway, like always, you guys, peace.